So you're in the market to buy a brand new mower. Maybe you just brought a home and now you have a lawn to take care of. Or maybe you already own a home, but moving forward you want to start to take care of your own lawn. In this video I'm going to go over the biggest decision you're going to have to make. Should you go battery or should you go gas? Let's get right into it. So first things first, my only advice to you, whether you get electric or gas, it doesn't matter. If you have more than 2,000 square foot to mow, I highly recommend you invest in a self-propelled mower. Self-propelled only means that you hit a lever on the mower itself and that will move the mower for you. You don't want to use your power to push it constantly day in day out. The minute lawn care starts to become work, it's not going to be as enjoyable. So I highly recommend you get yourself a self-propelled feature on whatever mower brand you're looking to get. So the way I'm doing these ratings here, you're going to notice the electric mower is going to have certain advantages over its gas counterpart, while the gas mower is also going to have certain advantages over its electric counterpart. It's not a pass or fail thing, it's more of a preference thing. So at the end of the day, it's really dependent on you what's your personal preference on the type of mower you're getting. Now, on the rating system, I'm rating the mowers on seven different categories. The seven categories are noise, maintenance, pollution, serviceability, reliability, weight, and quality of cut. The first three categories are pretty obvious as to which way they lean towards. We're starting with noise. Noise is one of those things gas mowers produce and there's really nothing you can do about it. Technology has definitely advanced over time, but a gas engine is still very noisy. We're gonna get a demonstration at five feet and about 25 feet and again at 50 feet. You'll hear the difference in the noise. You won't notice too much of a difference up close and personal when it comes to the noise produced by an electric mower. But as you get further and further away, electric mowers produce almost zero sound. So you can pretty much mow at any time of day. So for this category, the winner goes to the battery electric mower. Again, you can mow pretty much any time of day and not disturb your neighbors. The next category is maintenance, starting with the gas mower. As a homeowner, you're gonna have to maintain your gas mower at a regular interval. Usually the maintenance period consists of changing the oil very frequently, changing out the air filter every so often, and eventually changing out the spark plugs. On top of that, you have to be mindful of how you store the fuel. You see, when you put your mower away for the season, you gotta be careful how you store your fuel. You can't just let it sit there in the tank. Now, it's very easy to do. You could easily treat the fuel that's already in the tank by adding a fuel stabilizer, or you can just let it run out completely. But whichever route you choose to go, you gotta be mindful. Fuel can become an issue if left untreated for a long period of time. As a DIYer, doing maintenance on a gas mower is not that hard, but it's still a consideration to factor in that maintenance is one of those things some people just don't like doing. Looking over at the electric mower, the electric mower has zero maintenance. You don't have to worry about changing any type of oil, 
filter, fuel, whatever the case is. The only thing you have to be mindful of is how you store the battery long term. You just want to keep the battery in the temperature regulated environment. You don't want to store your battery in the garage just because of the wide fluctuations in temperature. Other than that, the maintenance on the electric mower is pretty much maintenance free. So for this category, the winner goes to the battery electric mower. Now I didn't mention this before, but when it comes to mower blades, you still have to sharpen both these mower blades at regular intervals. They don't sharpen themselves. Even with the electric mowers, you still have to maintain that mower blade. You gotta keep it sharp in order to have a clean cut turf. The next category is pollution. Now, engine technology these days have definitely advanced. They're not giving off as much emissions compared to engines in the past but the concern is still there for the environmentally conscious individual. When you're using an electric mower, you're producing zero emissions and that's zero fumes you're breathing in. So because of this, the obvious winner in this category, again, goes to the electric version. The next category is serviceability. Now with gas mowers, anything goes wrong. If you need any part of the mower replaced, you can easily get the part you need and replace it in a few hours. If you're not that handy, you can easily find a small engine repair shop and send your mower off for repair. Usually downtime will be a few days, maybe a week tops. So serviceability for gas engines is readily available and you won't be without your mower for a long period of time. With electric mowers, because electric is a specialized system, you can't just send your mower off if anything goes wrong. You actually have to contact the manufacturer and the manufacturer will just guide you on your next best steps. Just for reference, my ego gave me a problem within the first year after I purchased it. The drive system, something happened to it where it just wouldn't self-propel as fast. It'll stay at one constant speed. So I had to send the mower off for repair. But to my surprise, I didn't even get my mower back until five weeks later. Five weeks at the peak of the growing season is just devastating. So a consideration to factor in is if anything goes wrong with an electric mower, you're gonna have to send it off and be prepared to be without your mower for a long period of time. So for this category, the winner goes to the gas mower. The next category is reliability. With gas mowers, gas mowers have been around for ages and you know what you're getting right out the box. With proper maintenance and care, a gas mower is gonna last you a very, very long time, usually 10 years and beyond. With electric mowers, you're gonna get reliable service from the mower itself, but the reliability aspect of it lies in the battery. Battery technology has definitely improved over time, but at some point, the battery itself is gonna to have to be replaced. You can expect the battery to last you a couple years, maybe five years, you might be able to stretch it out a little bit longer, but you're gonna to have to replace it and it's not cheap. The cost of a new battery will run you several hundred dollars and it's one of those things that you have to factor in. So think about this. You purchase an electric mower for a couple hundred dollars, usually five, six, seven hundred dollars. It comes with a really good battery and that battery will give you X amount of years in performance. After a certain amount of years, you're going to notice the battery is not lasting as long. That's usually a telltale sign that you have to replace the battery. So you replace the battery, you're gonna drop a couple hundred dollars on a new battery, usually two, three, four hundred dollars for a brand new battery. So it's another added cost to an electric mower every couple years. So when it comes to reliability for electric mowers, you'll get good reliable service from the mower itself and you'll get X amount of years out of the battery. But at some point, there's an added cost to the battery. For this category, the winner barely goes to the gas mower. The next category is weight. Now when it comes to weight, the gas mower is a little bit on the heavier side. And that actually can be a good thing because when it's heavy, it's not gonna bounce as much if you have a bumpy turf. 
with electric mowers. Electric mowers are a little bit on the lighter side. But one of the things I found with electric mowers is that if you have a bumpy turf, as you're mowing, you're gonna start hitting bumps and that's gonna cause the mower to actually bounce up and down just slightly. It's kind of like hovering over the turf. So because of that, you're gonna end up having uneven cuts. And that unevenness is gonna be more pronounced the faster you go. So you have to kind of slow down your mowing when you're using an electric mower. Another thing to consider is if you add weight to the handle as you're mowing you're going to notice the front tip of the mower is slightly going to tilt up as you're mowing and that's also going to contribute to an uneven cut the same thing can also happen to a gas mower but it seems to be more pronounced on the electric mower just because of its lighter weight. One of the advantages to being lightweight is that you'll be able to conquer hills and slopes much more easily. So for this category it's actually a tie they're both pretty equal. The final category is quality of cut. Now having used both these mowers, I can tell you the cut quality for both of them are pretty comparable. At first I did question the electric mower's quality of cut, just because when I first got it, I noticed as I was mowing, it left small amount of clippings behind on the left side. But this has pretty much been eliminated with the introduction of the high lift blade. So one of the things I like about Ego is that they continue to try to improve their mower performance over time. And as they improve and come out with newer mowers, you'll get much better performance. Now my final thoughts on which mower you should get. It's really dependent on your preference and what will work out for you. With gas mowers, you know what you're getting right out the box, but the most important thing is to keep up with the maintenance regularly. You gotta change that oil out, change the filter out, and you gotta make sure you treat that fuel when you're storing the mower for a long period of time. You don't wanna let the fuel sit out for too long, otherwise it'll start clogging up the mower and you'll get performance issues. But if you maintain your mower properly, that mower will last you a very long time. With an electric mower, you'll get reliable service, you'll get good quality of cuts, but a few things you gotta factor in is the battery. At some point, you're gonna have to change out that battery and that's an extra added cost. On top of that, anything goes wrong with the mower, be prepared to be without your mower for an extended period of time. If you do purchase an electric mower, it makes sense to purchase the other products made by the same company, such as the blower, the edgers, the string trimmers, and so on and so forth. You'll find that the batteries are interchangeable between the products, and as you start to expand that line, you'll have the option to purchase additional batteries that come with those products. So you'll be able to have more than one battery to swap out as needed. So you'll pretty much have continuous runtime. As you run out of charge on one battery, you swap it out for another and you put the one you just used to charge. At the end of the day, choose the mower that's gonna work out best for you and in your situation. Whether you choose electric or gas, the most important thing is if you have more than two or 3,000 square foot of lawn to cut, you wanna get yourself a self-propelled mower. And whichever mower you choose, the most important thing is to cut your lawn consistently. You wanna cut often in order to have a consistent green look throughout the lawn.